Now that we have a couple packages set up, we are ready to launch our very first client. Now, the first thing that we need to do before we set up the account in here is we need to make sure that our DNS is totally squared away, everything's ready to go. So I'm going to assume that you've already bought another uh, domain name through Namecheap, or maybe your client has already bought another domain name through Namecheap. So you'll log into Namecheap and then you'll click on your domain, your domain list here. And then you're going to find the domain that you need to change the DNS on. In our case, I'm just gonna use this, um, this domain name because it's not being used. So go ahead and click on manage. Uh, most likely chances are that your name servers are set to use the Namecheap name servers, which I talked about before. If they're not, go ahead and click on uh, the drop down arrow and select Namecheap basic DNS. Once that's done, click over here on advanced DNS. And this is where we're going to add the A records to point to our server. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what the IP address is of our server that we just bought. That's really easy to do if you click over to your web host manager. If you click on the left side under list accounts, you should see a list of all your accounts. Obviously, I have all of my clients listed here, but the first thing that's gonna be listed is your own website, which is the domain name that you purchased before when we were purchasing our server. Right next to it here, it should say IP address. This is the IP address that we're going to put in here under advanced DNS. So go ahead and do that now. and then click the check marks. Okay, so our DNS is set. The problem though is it's not going to update automatically. It's gonna take probably 10 to 15 minutes until all of the DNS servers all the way around the world are aware of the changes that you just made. And the way that we can check that and see that they're updated is go to dnschecker.org, which I showed you before. Go ahead and put in the URL or the domain name that uh, we just updated the DNS for and then click search. When the IP address here matches the IP address that we entered in on Namecheap all the way around the world on this whole entire list, then we know that our DNS is good, we've updated around the world, and we're all set to go through and add our new account. In this example right here, I've got my URL, but currently the DNS was pointed to some other server. This is my server here that it's pointed at currently, but I want to point it at my newly bought server. So if the DNS is pointed here and it's not pointed here, then when I go to this URL in my browser, it's not gonna point to my server. So by updating the DNS in Namecheap, what we're doing is we're actually breaking this link and we're pointing the arrow over here so that we can manage everything and take care of everything. So once everything shows as good on DNS Checker, then we know that the DNS is pointed to our server and we're good to go. So let's go back to our host manager and we're finally going to create a new account. If we scroll down, the domain is the name of the domain that we're working with. The username, you can do whatever you want. I usually just do a shortened version of um, of the URL. Go ahead and put in a password. Go ahead and put in an email address for where you want to send any alerts or anything like that. And finally, the drop down here will say choose a package. This is the package that we created in the previous video. So we could either do demo package one or we could do demo package two. Remember the only differences between these two is that the second one allowed email addresses. I'm gonna go ahead and select demo package one and then scroll down here and click on create. Now it's gonna run through, it's gonna do its thing, but once it finishes, our new account, our new client should show up in our list of accounts.